So Bronny James got drafted into the NBA at the 55th select pick in the second round draft. And there's a lot of mixed reviews on whether or not he deserved to be there uh, with the comments on the internet and whether or not his dad had something to do with him being drafted to the Lakers. And uh, someone even so much as went so far as to compare him to the great Kobe Bryant. Listen, um, there are 266 people, men, that get drafted every year into the NBA. And uh, I guess being 55th isn't so bad when you have 266, but he didn't go on a first round draft as many people figured that he would do. I think that Bronny James should have just finished college. There was no rush for him to really go to the NBA except for to play with his father. Now, I understand a lot of men would love to have played in the NBA with their sons, but not many men had that pull or that fame as much as LeBron James did. Michael Jordan's sons probably just didn't even want to do it. And at that point in time, when Michael Jordan played, I don't think he could have made any type of decision to where he could have persuaded the NBA to make his sons into the draft. So um, a lot of people were saying the same thing. A lot of people were saying that LeBron James Jr., if that is, in fact, who he is, um, Bronny James, was not going to make it except for two years. Once his dad quit, they believed that the Lakers would cut him. Now, me personally, I believe that LeBron James did, in fact, have something to do with his son being drafted because people were saying that Ju- Bronny's stats were terrible. I keep wanting to call him Junior. I'm sorry. Um, but they were saying Bronny's stats are terrible as far as a person who should have been made drafted to the NBA. Now, I don't know if Bronny has been working on his game hard enough or how he's going to fare when it comes to the Lakers and his father. I know his dad would love to win a championship with his son, but at the end of the day, I don't think people are going to go easy on Bronny just because of who his father is. And secondly, I don't know if the NBA would want to draft a person that's already went into cardiac arrest. I mean, that's such a risky move. Like, I don't think any regular person from a regular family or even a poor family or, you know, I don't think anybody else who had already on record went through cardiac arrest and had to be revived would be selected to play in any sport, let alone the NBA. Um, With that being said, So many young men are at college praying, hoping, wishing, working their hardest to try and make it to this point to where they can save their families and and, and do things for their moms. Bronny didn't need this money. He didn't need any of this. I think he should have went ahead and finished college. But if that was, you know, his pitch, then so be it. But he also put out a statement himself that, you know, don't draft me because of who my father is. He said it was never his dream to play in the NBA with his father. And, um, you know, that says enough in itself. This man has big shoes to fill with his father being LeBron James. So, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think the NBA made a mistake. Let me know if you think it's great. Um... As far as the team goes, I don't know how the team will welcome Bronny. I don't know if he's going to be a bench rider. I don't know what's going on. I'm sure his dad's going to get him in the game. Um, But that's to be said. You know, they could put him in once and he fails. And, you know, sometimes that's the end. And sometimes, you know, a bench rider, that's all they need is one chance to get out there and prove themselves. So let me know what you think.